So this guy has for himself the birth certificate of the Republic of Ghana showing that he is a Ghanaian born at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Uh, he says his father is a Ghanaian, his mother a Ghanaian, and born on the on the 24th of November 1989. But as it is turned out, this guy has no trace whatsoever to a Ghanaian parent. He was going through the process illegally until he hit a snag and was picked up by operatives of the national security. Now, questions that are coming up are one, how easy it was for this Nigerian national to first of all go through the process to acquire for himself a voter's ID of the Republic of Ghana. Yeah, nationality in Nigerian who has based in Ghana for a very long time. You've been able to acquire for yourself a voter's ID which I would like to show here. So you have a voter's ID, uh, Donny Don K O. How did you manage to get for yourself a voter's ID of the Republic of Ghana? Yeah, like you I not being a Ghanaian. Like as I told, I said earlier that because I've been a place and uh, I mean myself as part of the people. So if you are part of the people, then why would you do what the people? What you find in the what you find at the place, so I decide to also to do everything that is. How, how easy was it for you to get yourself a national a voter's ID? Oh, when they, I did it when they were doing the voting ID, uh, when they were doing the ID card, which I went to join the queue as other people joined the queue, so I joined the queue, and I did it. And when you were asked questions, how did you successfully evade? the protocol to get for yourself the ID card? I was able to answer the question they asked me. And that is all. That is all I did. This young man successfully got for himself a birth certificate showing boldly, as you see, that he was born at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. When in fact, he was born in Nigeria and a Nigerian. Now, when I confronted him with this document, what this Nigerian told us is that he felt the need to associate better with the Ghanaian people since he has lived in this country for a very long time. And then you also successfully acquired for yourself. Where were you born? Uh, in that case, I was born in Nigeria. Sorry? I was born in Nigeria. In Nigeria, very well. But here, here in the birth certificate, you said you were born at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Do we have a Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Nigeria where you come from? Uh, it's not necessary that we have a Kolebu Hospital in Nigeria. The Kolebu Hospital is in Ghana here. So you were born in Ghana? That is what I stated on my, on my, on my what do you call it, on my birth certificate because... Were you born in Ghana? I've answered you the question that uh, I am not born, but I'm a free born in Ghana here. So you lied to the authorities on that score? You said your father is also a Ghanaian. Is that the case? Speaking, honestly speaking, is your father a Ghanaian? My father was not a Ghanaian. So your father is late. He was a Nigerian. Yeah, but he died in Ghana here. So you lied again on that score. Your mother, you said, is a Ghanaian. Is your mother a Ghanaian? Yeah, my mother is a Ghanaian. So why did you go through this process to get for yourself the traveling passport of the Republic of Ghana? Good. You ask a very nice question we shall be able to explain to you. I just want to have a Ghanaian passport. That Are you not proud of being a Nigerian? I'm proud of being a Nigerian and I'm also proud to be a Ghanaian. How many of your colleagues have successfully gone through the process to acquire for themselves a Ghanaian passport like you were trying to do? I have never seen anyone before, so I can't, I can't actually figure out. So you live all by yourself? Yeah, I live by myself. I live with one of my friends, but it's now around too. You said you are a pastor. You run a church, right? What's the name of your church? 
I, I don't run a church. I, 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 I pastor in a church. Sources at the National Security say they are processing the suspect and will subsequently hand him over to the immigration officers for the desired action to be taken.